Ushering in a new era at the club. Can he bring fresh ideas? to find out. Stay with us on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a delightful part of Spain. We're here by the Mediterranean at the Estadio de la Ceramica. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And it's always a special day on the calendar, opening day in La Liga. It's Villarreal up against Real Betis. Well, what a big start to the season this is, Derek. And you just sense they need to get a good result away from home here if they are to get that Champions League spot. And here's the starting eleven for Real Betis. Well, in this 4-5-1, they've only got one up front, but there are two or three of the midfield players who love to break forward with quality. But the most important players for me will be the wingers. They have to provide the energy and dynamism. Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And making his move inside. Shot blocked, but still alive. Fine cross into the middle. Well, that's a sad end to the attack. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. A running room in the wide position. There's the cutback. Goalkeeping of the highest order. Well, he's got to be pleased with that save. It's absolutely magnificent. Trying to deliver it accurately. Well, just centimetres away. Narrowly wide. Yeah, but the goalkeeper had it covered, no doubt about that. I think he would have saved it. Well, it's always intriguing when a new manager arrives in the technical area. Stuart, will the Champions League be in their future? Well, they've brought him in to get the best out of some very talented players. But unless he does get that Champions League football, as you said, he'll be under a bit of pressure. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. And played short. Shown inside. Mario Rui and here's Gerard Moreno can they create something from here and it might be couldn't grab hold of it and the keeper really reacted brilliantly well from that sort of range it's a great save I have to say and over it comes well not away properly Moreno brilliantly blocked And he keeps going. It's a corner. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Clearance left a bit to be desired. Just the challenge that was required. Fekir. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Moreno. And Cocora. Jorge Cuenca. Mario Rui. Well, that is how to play advantage. Well, the advantage didn't come to very much. Hence the award of a free kick by the referee. A lot of internet and newspaper talk about Newcastle United in the last few days. Well, we need to talk no more or wonder about it no more because the transfer has gone through. Well, that's about £55 million. Pounds. I would say it's a good deal for everyone, particularly the player who can now show what a great talent he really is. Oh, fine stop. A 
how about the short corner? And a fine cross. And he's clear as lines. Well, over the last 15 minutes, Villarreal have started to take control, haven't they? And created a hat full of chances. But when you're enjoying that amount of possession, you need to make it count. Oh, big chance here. And the keeper stretching to deny him. And short it is. And the Villarreal throw in here. Jeremy. And he's lost custody of the ball here. Still not clear. Well, they can bring it out now. Borja Iglesias. And he might be through here. A majestic piece of goalkeeping there. That's goalkeeping at its best. He's so hard to beat from that sort of range. Well, they've been frustrated for quite a while now, but these fans have suddenly come to life. And that'll be a Betis throw-in. Well, no let up, plenty of pressure. A Jose Perez, a lot of space to attack. Borja Iglesias. And so it is, the first half has come to an end here at the Estadio de la Ceramica. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. <laughs> Nabil Fekir. Gabia. Now Cocola. And in the right position to make sure it didn't go all the way through. More action from La Liga coming up for you live here on EA TV. It's Villarreal and they'll be facing Mallorca. Of Bayerin. And they have possession again. Gabia. Being pressed here. And Betis did well to regain possession. Can he put them in front? And you have to say, it was on the cards. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. 
it's a really emphatic finish which gives the keeper no chance Back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Coquelin. 30 minutes to go then. Chance to do damage. But the danger averted for now. Borja Iglesias. Jeremy. He's managed to lose his marker. A danger averted thanks to his teammate. Moreno, chance for the leveller. And a goal! An end-to-end -end game! And they weren't behind for long! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. He skips past his marker and that gives him the space to get his shot away. Excellent stuff from him. A level contest, 1-1. One, one. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Hector Bellerin. In possession, Fekir. And do they mean business on this occasion? Well, didn't go to plan in the end. Juan Foyt. Well, more live La Liga action for you to look forward to here on EA TV. It's Real Betis against Atletico. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Well, a nearly moment just over the top. And time for the change now. Not giving him a moment's peace. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Jeremy Moreno Fight I think the referee was spot on there a free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage One fight. Well, let's get more details on the injury situation from our pitch side reporter, Jeff Shreves. Real concern for the Brents now, because it looks like he landed with his elbow underneath his body, and that's causing him some serious pain at the moment. Cheers, Jeff. Sound piece of defending. Well, he's allowed it to go over.
for the touchline, so a throw in. Here it is now, a substitution. Nabil Fekir. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And a yellow card, it's going to be Stewart. Yeah, the ref's got that right. It's a yellow card all day long. And it comes down to the final five minutes. Well, here they are on the attack. Can they go on and win the game? Well, just listen to this noise. How could you not be inspired by that? Now, counter-attacking possibilities. Rui. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. And the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Did well to clear it away. Must take the lead here, and they do! And with so little time left, that will surely be decisive. Astonishing drama. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place, and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. And so the final whistle here, the visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, what a great start for them. They showed discipline, aggression, they also played some good football. It's been the perfect day for them. Well, it truly was a fantastic performance from William Stuart, keen to get your assessment. What caught your eye? Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent. And of course, what a time to come up with a goal. En primer lugar, muchas gracias por dedicar parte de su tiempo a contestar estas preguntas. Gracias otra vez. 